This video is proudly sponsored by WAP.com. WAP is an all-in-one marketplace for reselling communities, sneaker bots, bot rentals, bro, you name it. Man, if you want to level up in the sneaker game or in the reselling game, man, head over to WAP.com forward slash reselling in the description. It's your boy Rico. Let's get it. All right, so one of the main questions I get when it comes to sneaker reselling, people like, bro, how do I know which sneakers to resell? How do I know which sneakers have value? And today, I'm going to go ahead and completely help you understand how to do that. All right, so the very first thing that you need to understand is that when it comes to Jordans or when it comes to sneakers, period, we're going to talk about Jordan first, but then we're going to talk about about Nike. So as far as Jordan, you have Michael Jordan's rookie year. He received his signature shoe line, which that starts with the Jordan number one, right? And then you go all the way, honestly, up until I believe they're at like 30 or 40 something right now. But the retros that everybody recognizes is I would say one through 15. Some people are gonna tell you no, it's one through 13. Now that you understand the retro series, now it's time to understand which ones are hype and which ones are not. So right now off the top of my head, I'm gonna tell you right now, as far as just the base model, just the base retro itself, you got the one that's pretty hype. Then you got right now the four that's pretty hype. And then for and then as far as right now, everything else is gonna fall up under those. So now you're gonna ask, does that mean every single one is hype? Does that mean every single four is hype? And no, bro, that is not what that means. However, more times than not, those sneakers are gonna have hype, right? So now that you understand the retros and, and how the base models work, now I'm gonna go, now we're gonna talk about colorway, right? Because that's the next factor that's gonna help you determine if a shoe is hype or not. So there are several different colorways, right? You got, you got the Mocha colorway, which is a hype colorway, right? Then you got the Chicago colorway, which is, a, once again, a hype colorway. You got the UNC colorway, that is also a very hype colorway. So when you combine those as far as a Chicago one, boom, you got a hype shoe. Oh, a Chicago four, which don't really exist, Boom, you got a hype shoe. UNC4, hype shoe. UNC1, hype shoe. UNC11, hype shoe, right? So, so the colorway is the next determining factor as far as figuring out what shoes are hype, which ones are gonna have resale value. When we're talking about colorways, right? We're talking about OG colorways as well, right? And what an OG colorway is, is basically an original run of the shoe, right? So if we're talking about the fours, which came out in 89, which would have been Jordan's fourth year, then you got the cement fours, you got the bread fours, you got the fire red four, I believe is an OG colorway, right? And that just simply means, once again, Michael Jordan either played in these shoes, and if he didn't play in these shoes, Actually, then this shoe was one of the original colorways to release when this retro originally released its first time, right? So OG colorway is something you definitely need to look out for as far as determining if a shoe has height. Now, the next thing I wanna talk to you about is, is it a collab, right? Because a lot of the times when you have collabs, especially when you mix it with a Jordan 1, a Jordan 11, a Jordan 4, then nine times out of 10, those sneakers as well are gonna have some hype and are gonna have the resale value. Let me not confuse you one bit because I'm not even gonna take up too much of your time today. The main factor when it comes to if a shoe is hype, and I tell people this all the time when they join my Discord and they ask me this question, the main factor, bro, once again, supply and demand. Now, at one point, I thought supply was the most important factor in that equation, meaning I thought that, hey, if they made 500,000 pairs of one shoe, if they made a million pairs of one shoe, then hey, that would bring the price down because then everybody would have access to them. However, I was wrong. The Lost and Found release taught me, which the Lost and Found release is ultimately a Chicago one. That release taught me it is not the supply, but actually the, the demand that is the driving factor. And the demand is pretty much how many people want this shoe. So then, so now your question becomes, especially if you're a beginner and you don't know nothing, then your next question is gonna become, well, how do I know which ones have the most demand? How do I know which ones everybody wants? And that part of it, bro, I honestly advise everybody when they ask me that question, question like bro you have to learn the sneaker game you have to kind of learn the market see if you're a sneaker head yourself then you kind of already know one way you can tell if a shoe has the demand is honestly Instagram bro the internet right you need to be following these sneaker pages if you're a beginner and you don't know because once again if you're a sneaker head yourself who's jumping into the reselling game you probably don't even need to watch this video because you already know what's hype what everybody wants but if you're not a, if you're not a sneaker head yourself if you're not a part of the culture then you got some learning to do right and the first thing I would suggest you do is to go on these Instagram pages I follow Z sneakerhead I follow nice kicks right and whenever they're teasing images you'll be able to see 
that hey everybody in the comments is saying oh this is a nice shoe this is a must cop and then you'll see sometimes in the comments everybody saying oh this shoe is trash oh this I'm gonna I'm not getting it I'm gonna stay away from it right but I also want you to beware of the trolls too because there's a lot of times where everyone will say they hate a shoe like most Jordan 2's right everybody will say they hate a shoe a shoe sucks and then when that shoe comes out then everybody wants it everybody's a fan so you have to be aware of that but what I will say is is any shoe that's just garnering a huge conversation period whether people are come going out of their way to say it sucks or whether they're going out of their way to say it's a nice shoe and they want it that's definitely a way for you to tell which sneakers will resell and which sneakers have the value right now the next thing I'm gonna tell you the next thing I'm gonna tell you to do is bro go to StockX right that shoe probably a week or two before it comes out at what the resale price is if it's anywhere close to the retail price then I'm gonna probably tell you that hey the demand is not that high for that shoe because here's where that's gonna make sense to you if it doesn't already if a shoe a month two weeks prior is maybe only a hundred bucks above retail then what that means about that shoe what that means is is that that shoe isn't doesn't have the demand right because if it did then people would honestly pay more to have this shoe early right so if you've seen the Travis Phantom ones right that just dropped if you've seen those bro then you realize that hey like a week or two prior then you know the resale value was way up right and of course of course if you're talking a collab you're talking off-white you're talking Travis you're talking uh sometimes I'm I'm and yeah so when you're talking those type of collabs then you already know that demand is gonna be up there right I know when concept does a collab with Nike I know a lot of the time that does well which we're gonna talk about as well honestly bro the general answer to the question the reason why you click this video today the general answer is bro the shoes that'll resell the shoes that are hype are gonna be the ones that everybody wants right and once you get yourself immersed in the culture that won't be hard to find at all now let's talk about Nike for a little bit right because similar is the, some of the same rules apply except it's slightly different right so once again the UNC colorway and this also speaks to the power of Michael Jordan and what he did for that brand at Nike because number one when you're talking about Nikes we're only really talking about dunks Air Force Ones sometimes Air Max I know the Sakai's can be hype and there's little Nikes here and there that do have some hype and do have some demand but a lot of the times what you're gonna see with those is that, that it's always either gonna be a, once again a Chicago colorway a UNC colorway or a collab right so when we're talking Air Force Ones we're talking off-white you know what I'm saying some of the undefeated Air Force Ones go some of the um, special most of the special edition Air Force Ones go the Supreme Air Force Ones go the last undefeated Air Force One kind of bricked which was a surprise to me especially because those are hard bro and honestly Air Force Ones especially those patent ones like back in my high school days bro that was our swag so um I'm surprised those break but for the most part when you're talking Nikes just dunks and stuff like that I know the the Air Force One you of course so of course like with the Nikes when, when you're talking Air Force One of course you got the Louis Vuitton collab which of course is gonna have demand you're talking the off-white you know Air Force Ones which of course is gonna have some demand right oh a general rule of thumb of course is off-white Travis anything like that is gonna go right speaking of Travis right we talked about Air Max there's the Travis Air Max those are hype those have demand so ultimately bro what you ultimately here's the bigger picture for me bro a lot of people are watching this video because they want to get into sneaker reselling and I think a lot of people are wanting to get in and they only want to camp out for the big releases right so even in my own personal discord I have a surge of people join because they want the lobsters a surge of people join because they want the Travis's right and these same people are asking like hey how do I know which sneakers are hype how do I know which sneakers have the, have the value and honestly bro honestly it's there's there's more shoes than just the concepts collab with the lobsters with the dunks or whatever or there's more than just the off-white collabs there's the pandas right like like I showed you on the previous e episode when I was using Zeke analytics which is the tool I use to just check and see what sneakers are going bro so check and see what sneakers are valuable see which ones are selling the most on eBay bro and that'll tell you a tool like that'll show you shoes like the pandas bro that aren't necessarily just super hype but are hype and have the demand can still be money makers bro so look y'all especially if you're a new reseller bro stop trying to chase the big releases because honestly I'm gonna keep it real with you the chances of you just jumping in and getting those are upset and then you're gonna be like most people um, on release morning when those happen which is upset bro so man give yourself a chance bro learn the sneaker market Rico gang I love y'all let's get it